So he rolling his body, all of his body, all six, eight of him is rolling itself. Is he rolling? He, because that was his idea. That's what he thought would be sexy. Him rolling his body like that and then sliding across the floor like a toddler. I said, what is he doing? <laughs> I've been watching and I know you've been watching too. So come peep this. Hi, my peep fam. Welcome to come peep this. I miss series and I do not miss a series. Today we will be uh, reviewing Merit at First Sight season 15 episode 3. We're going to get into these weddings. Um, I have my master's in psychology, so we're going to use some psychology, some common sense, and get a whole lot of giggles along the way. Let's get it. Justin and Alexis. Y'all, I'm still laughing. I'm still laughing. <laughs> they had the best Married at First Sight wedding in history. Hands down, go to them. If it's a trophy, uh, here you go. I mean, hands down, Justin and Alexis' wedding was giving. <laughs> if she was lit, I don't know if she's going to remember it. I don't know if Alexis is going to remember it. That's the best wedding ever, but it, it was that. It was that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, um... It starts off with them talking, you know, to each other. And he says, hey, I can admit when I'm wrong and I'm a pleaser. Uh, and, uh, this is how we know the look at <laughs> kicked in. Alexis said, don't don't threaten me with a, with a good time. I said, well, Alexis, what you talking about, girl? She said, don't threaten me with a a, a, a good time. I said, ooh. Mm. Yeah, she is. She was absolute. In my opinion, she was absolutely lit. But she was, you know... She she was cognizant enough to know, like, hey, he's saying all the right things. I just hope that, you know, he can follow it up with his actions. It sounds good, but we'll see. Um, Alexis sits down and she talks with, uh, you know, his brother and his mother. Alexis says, I'm not in the business of hurting people. If, if there's nothing there, I'm going to find something beautiful. If I can't, we, we'll create it together. And I said, ooh, they come with those sentences, her and um, Justin. That's one thing. That they have in common. They come with a very potent, heartfelt statement. You know, I was like, oh my goodness. So she was like, hey, I find something beautiful. She clearly understands the process. You know, like, hey, I may not be attracted to him. In this case, she was not. She was not attracted to him. But she was like, I can see something there and I we can build it. We can, I can grow on it. You know, she understood what she signed up for. Um, Justin and his brother have a heart to heart that for the first time did not end up in, in a, somebody storming off, a cussing, or somebody being embarrassed, you know. So I said, okay, they finally was able to talk. The brother said, hey, he's no longer worried. He done met Alexis, you know, after that statement. I mean, who wouldn't love, you know, like, who wouldn't love Alexis? She said, I'm, I'm not in the business of hurting people. And that's what his brother was so concerned about because he know that Justin is super sensitive. And he know that he... Uh, even though we haven't got all the details and we may not, you know, get all the details, he knows that his brother really went through it with the ex. He knows this. It's a reason why, I know everybody was jumping down his brother's throat, but it's a reason why his brother was so in this aggressive, protective mode. It's a reason. So he said, but after meeting Alexis, you know, that he's not worried anymore, you know, he's proud of, of um, Justin and, they, you know, they embraced. Um, so... After that, uh, Justin Franz asks Alexis, like, hey, you know, um, are you here for this? And she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here for this process. And she's like, you know, uh, tell me something. What, what's the cheat code? It's like, oh, well, Justin is super sensitive. Everybody keeps describing him as sensitive. And I just wonder how this sensitive is going to manifest. Is he, is he sensitive as far as, you know, able to express his emotions? He, he feels deeply and able to express that. Or is he sensitive like... Um, like y'all remember Zach, Zach, Zach and Michaela. Zach was sensitive, but he was a he was, in my opinion, cuckoo for cocoa puffs. You know, crying in the corner. She tried to touch him. He no, get off me. Is he that type of sen? Is he that type of sensitive? I I hope not. I hope not. I hope he's sensitive as far as he he feels deeply and he feels uh you know he's able to emotionally you know convey himself and they just call him sensitive. So we'll see. But that she did make a face when they kept. She's hearing that all, you know, the time. He's sensitive. He's sensitive. So she's like, eh, I don't know. Um, 
But like I said, yeah, Alexis is definitely committed to the process. She's uh, There's no reservations on her end. So I'm like, okay, she's all in. She's 10 toes down. She's all in. Alexis is absolutely lit, though. She's absolutely lit. She said she's working towards the superficial things. And that um, that's no beer goggles. She said she's working towards the superficial things. But she really said, I'm working past his looks. That's what that sentence means. I'm sorry. Leave your comments below if you think it means something else. When she keep on saying, I was worried about the superficial. Oh, that was just me being, that was you being superficial. That means that was you caring about his looks. Let's be honest. You're not attract. All this superficial thought, that's a very pretty way to put it. But she's like, I'm not, uh, he's not, my, whew. And we'll get into it. We get into it. But now she says she's working through it because she didn't got, and she, that's the mirror goggles talking, I'm telling you. But her friends, when he was talking to, when Justin went over to talk to her friends, well, I think it was actually her sisters, and um, they said that he's handsome. I said, okay. They said, oh, you know, you're handsome and everything, but, you know, how are you going to protect our sister? He said, uh, next to God, your sister comes first. You know what I'm saying? Next, next to him. She comes. They was like, okay. And that's, once again, that's one of those potent statements that I think we're going to hear from this couple. They are very articulate with their words, and they mean it. They mean it. So I was like, okay, Justin, I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. So Justin asked the sisters, like, hey, so what's um, uh, what's Alexis' flaw? You know, what's the thing to look at? They, they thought real quick. They go, uh, mm, you'll find out. Deuces. I said, okay, I, I need my people to have my back like that. Like that. that that's how you do it. Like, oh, no, you'll you find out none. None exists. They're, they're absent, not present. You, you'll find out on your own. We're not about to throw our girl on the bus. I said, okay, okay. That's how I, I said, yeah, th those are her sisters. Those are her sisters. Those are not just some homegirls. Those are her sisters. Um, cut back to Alexis talking to um, to, to Justin's friends. So they asked him, they, they asked her, they was like, okay, so what's your cheat code? You know, let's say you guys get into it and you block him. She said, okay, if I block him, he needs to send me an email. If not, a message in a bottle. Stand outside my, my, uh, my window with a radio. Yeah, any by any means necessary, chase me. And I said, you absolutely right. That's the response from a woman who knows her worth. I'm here for Alexis. I'm here for her. She, she knows what's up. She's like, yeah, he, he needs to get to me any means possible. And I, I really think that that was good for her to tell his friends that. Because that's going to be his counsel. You know, that's when something goes down, you go, you know, to your friend group. Like, hey, what's this? And since they already got that inside her cheat code, they're like, okay, what you need to do? Yeah, meet, meet her at her job. Not, not in a weird way, not in a crazy way, but yeah, send some flowers up there. Chase her. Pursue her. Let's get it done. I said, okay, all right. All right. <laughs> Alexis was clearly lit, though, talking to them. She was clearly lit. She, now, she wasn't Lindsay drunk. Lindsay from last season. She wasn't Lindsay drunk. But she she was lit. But I don't blame her for what she had to digest. You know, like, okay, all right. That that day was overwhelming. She was not, like I said, she got a shock at the owl. She was shocked. So, yeah, she, I, I don't blame her. She, she was lit. Okay, so Justin, it's time for them to do the gardener and everything. So Justin danced. And it was exactly what you would think Justin would dance like. That's what it was. <laughs> That's what it was, y'all. That's what it was. That he he slid across the floor. You know, first Justin he he was like moving his body. You know, trying to roll his body. And she said, "Find the beat, Justin." That's what I'm saying. She she was <laughs> Alexis was not a hundred percent sober, but she 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 noticed that though. She's like, "I'm not a hundred percent here, but I know that you're not hearing the beat. Um, get on beat, baby. Get on beat." And he rolling his body, holding eye contact. And uh, Alexis' mama from the sideline said, hey, put, put put the garden on your ankle. Put, put it on your ankle. Alexis said, nah, he's going to have to come all the way up here. I'm not putting it on my ankle. So he rolling his body, all of his body, all six, eight of him is rolling itself. Is he rolling? He Because that was his idea. That's what he thought would be sexy. Him rolling his body like that. And then sliding across the floor like a toddler. I said, what is he doing? I had to pause it, y'all. I felt uncomfortable. I'm watching it from from Texas, and I felt uncomfortable for what was happening in California at that moment. I felt I said, Paul said, like, ooh, I gotta, I gotta take a breather from this. It's making me feel uncomfortable. He slid his body across the like a toddler would. I don't know what he thought 
would be sexy about that, I would have jumped. I would have been, oh, I would have jumped. That, that was creepy to me, in my opinion. And I, I wasn't here for that. But he did that. And, and the confidence of him pulling off those moves, I said, all right, Justin. Do you then, Justin. Justin is, is unapologetically himself. Be you then. Be, if you confident to, to roll your body, then toddler crawl on your on your on your your palms and your knees across the floor to get your woman in the mood. Okay, do it then because you know something that that we don't know. You you know something that we obviously have never seen before. You doing stuff from the future or from the past because we 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 don't know what's happening. Uh, <laughs> and then he gonna finish off the move, y'all. The move that, that this was the grand finale. <laughs> This was the great finale, y'all. He arches back. He leaned back. Ugh. Like, I was expecting, like, some water to come down on his chest. Or, I mean, he arched that back. So, but, I guess. Alexis was here for it. Unless she, she held eye contact and she looked at all of it. He removed the garner with his teeth. And I was just like, okay. He, it felt so awkward. But she was here for it. As long as Alexis likes Justin and into Justin, that's the only person that has to be, is Alexis. But that was what we expected it to be. And a little bit more, actually. As I think about it, I, it was it, it was it was a classic Married at First Sight moment. I won't ever forget it. I won't, For better or worse, I won't ever forget it. Then I see him uh, arches back in Todd LaCroix. I won't ever forget it. Would you? Y'all get no comments. Y'all let me know. Because... Uh, I mean, but it happened. She was here for it. So they talking to their own friends and their own siblings and things. And so uh, they asked uh, Alexis, like, hey, y'all going to get it in? You know, what's, what's, what What you think going to go? And she's like, no, we just going to talk. And then they cut to Justin. He, his friend's like, oh, so what, are y'all going to have any plans for later on tonight? Justin says, somebody getting deep down. I said, huh? Justin says, somebody getting deep down. I said, yikes, yowzers. Like, dude, what are you even... <laughs> Huh? <laughs> and then so Alexis friends is asking like, hey, he's six eight. So maybe that thing is thangin'. Maybe that thing thing. And she gonna say, you know, we have measured my, my vaginal canal, so we I never heard of that. I never heard of anybody measuring I don't even know how you would do that. Measure your canal? So her friends measure each other canal. I ain't never heard of nothing like that. That threw me for a loop. I was like, huh? They measured, the, she said she got a designer one. Not a knockoff. You know how they have those knockoff brand. And she said, no, mine is very much own brand. It's designer. I said, I never refer, heard it referred to as anything like that. I said, let's just come up with that new new. I never even heard this. This type of, <laughs> this type of references towards you. The measuring and everything. I said, okay. <laughs> to each their own. Okay, cool. But they agreed that they're probably just going to, you know, chill and, and and talk tonight and all this stuff. But Alexis is lit. Alexis is absolutely lit. I don't she's absolutely lit. But then Justin hits us with one of those moments. One of those one of those poetry heartfelt statements. Like they both do. He said, and I and I wrote it down because I don't want to mess it up because it was too good. It was too good. He said he wanted to love her so much that she doesn't have to think twice about whether she's loved or not. I said, come on with it then, Justin. I want to love you so much that you don't have to think twice whether or not you love. I said, Justin, by the end of this, we might all think he cute. You know, because his statements, <laughs> his statements, when he come like that, they seem sincere, genuine. Both of them are very, when she speaks her speech, is very much genuine, heartfelt, and sincere. I said, they are both two genuine, sincere people. And I don't know how that sensitivity going to come in on Justin's end, you know, later. Maybe that may be a little too much, but right now I'm all here for it. I said, that, that's how you talk about your woman. You know, I really like that about him. I said, okay, Justin, okay. Then they kissing and lip biting and, you know, but Alexis is clearly lit. She is clearly lit. In my opinion, homegirl is lit, intoxicated. Well, yeah, she kissing on him and, and lip biting and all that kind of stuff. You know, and they start talking about, you know, they get to the room and everything. They start talking about their future kids and all this stuff. I'm like, okay. And then he asks her the big question. The big question. I know that's been, got his heart, doo -doo. got his heart like. He asks her, uh, when you walk down the aisle, what did you think? I was like, what's she going to say? Because she is lit. What was she going to say? 
<laughs> she said she was like, oh, crap. But she said she was being superficial at first. She's being, and like I said earlier, that superficial is just code for extremely not attracted. I was being superficial. I was extremely not attracted at first. But, you know, she, she got over it. She got over it. And she told him, you know, to like try to put him at ease. She said, I'm happy you're my husband. I'm happy I'm paired with you. I'm happy that you're my husband. You know, he just lit up. Homeboy. <laughs> Justin just lit up. That's what he wanted to hear some type of um, confirmation. She said, but I seen you on Hinge. I seen you before. When I seen you down the aisle, I was like, okay, I know exactly. She seen him on the dating app. And she swiped, uh. She swiped, no. I don't know if it's left or right, but whichever one is no, that's, what, that's the way she swiped. She swiped, no. No, thank you. No, thank you. That's what she swiped. So, but uh, that's who she, that's her husband now. But she said she's being superficial. She was like, oh, were, were you sure it was me? She said, you 6'8", and you look how you looking. And I know when I seen you. It was definitely you, 100%. You, you, and you're 6'8". I'm not mistaking you for anyone else. It was you. It was you, Justin. But, you know, like she said, she's happy that he's her husband. So they got past that. And then Justin told production saying, she makes me feel wanted, which is different for him. But the girl is lit, in my opinion. She is lit. She is intoxicated. And you be wanting when you intox, intox, she's intoxicated. And that's a hard feeling to fake. Let me say that. You can fake like or interest in someone. Let's say like when they when she sobers up, when we do 72 hours sober. You know what I'm saying? 72 hours sober, I'm talking about that's including mimosas and everything. When she don't have no type of, of beer goggles, beer contacts on, nothing. When she, it's hard to see, to, to fake that won't. To, you know, you can be intimate with somebody and not give them that feeling of, oh, I want you. You know what I'm saying? So that's the feeling he's going off, or, off of right now. Oh, she makes me feel wanted. <laughs> That's gonna be hard to sustain if she doesn't really want you. So don't don't bank all your your, your feelings on that that feeling right there. That won't. Ooh, that's hard to do. That's it's easy to do when you got on beer goggles when you a little hey lit. You like oh I want him, but just a regular standard on a Tuesday to give off that I want you energy. Ooh, that's hard to fake. That's hard, but maybe it's there. We'll see. Only time will t we'll see. We'll see. Alexis laying in bed. She said, hey, if something happens, it happens. You know what I'm saying? She she open for it now. And Justin gonna tell the production, I'm hard as a rock right now. Why would you say that? I felt embarrassed. I'm hard as a rock. Calm yourself down. Like you ain't never had. Calm down. And he come out the bathroom with his shirt off. And I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh... <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Comment, y'all. I love to talk, and I always reply to my Pete fam. Let's get it.